Hello YouTubers. Today I have a video that's different. How to power an ECM motor on 120 volts. So one of my neighbors next door was getting one of their air conditioning equipment changed out. And the contractors left a bunch of stuff behind. And I even I asked them beforehand and they said take whatever I want. So I grabbed this ECM motor in the squirrel cage. Because honestly, I've been wanting to learn how to use these ECM motors since, you know, they're starting to become very common in this mandated and air conditioning equipment. I believe a year ago, they mandated that all equipment must use this. But, I want, this, these are different compared to a PSC motor because they require a capacitor and it doesn't have, it's not DC driven like this is. So what I have going on here... I have the transformer that came out of the same unit, the same air handler. So here is my neutral, this yellow is my neutral. This is my hot 120 going into the transformer. Now this is meant to be a 208, 240 transformer, but instead I used, I just tapped the 120 on the 208 to give me, to, to give me my 16 volts AC. And what this is used for, let's think of it like a start run capacitor, except this is call voltage. You have this brown wire that goes to a C terminal on this particular motor that's an X13 made by Gentech. This is your C, and then this red wire with the fuse here, because I like to be safe, is connected to this blue wire, and I have it on, I believe I have it on two, on tap two. Now there's five caps on this motor. I'm just using one or two right now. And then the other end of the wires here, there's double jumpers here. So the other ends are going to the N and the L on this motor. Now, this motor is specifically meant for 208, 230 volts. But it seems to run on 120 just fine because I don't have access to 240 and I want to use this as a it's just a regular fan. It runs pretty well, no problems. Cause I know how delicate those are, especially those Gentech motors. So I have a switch right here, it's connected to power. It's gonna do its normal thing. I have a calendar on the ground right here to represent how much air is moving on the ground here. You can see all my stuff blowing over here. That's how hard it blows. I'm quite surprised that this works, but at the same time, I feel like there's a switching power supply built in here to allow this to run on 120, because I know they make a 120 volt version of this ECM motor. And this, I believe, came from a carrier unit, if I already not told you. Pretty strong motor. I know these have a bad reputation. Rep uh, I can't talk today, but reputation of failing. At least this module right here. So, if you guys have an ECM motor that's 208, 230, it will certainly work. At least if it's an X13. I don't know about the other ones, but if you give it a try, if you get a, if you get a hold of one of these. I hope this video was helpful to you guys that that encounter ECM motors and trying to figure out how to use them as well as knowing if it'll run on 120. So stay tuned for more.